What is the ozone layer depletion? When you head out into the summer sun, do you use sunscreen? We hope so. It is important to protect your skin from sun's ultraviolet rays. If you have ever had a bad sunburn, you probably already know the value of a good sunscreen lotion. Would you believe that Earth has its own form of sunscreen? It's true. It's called the ozone layer. Let's learn about the ozone layer and its depletion. The ozone layer is found in the upper part of the atmosphere called the stratosphere and it acts as a shield absorbing ultraviolet radiation from the sun. UV rays are highly injurious to living organisms because the UV rays break the chemical bonds within DNA and protein molecules. Ozone is formed by the action of UV rays on molecular oxygen and also gets degraded into molecular oxygen in the stratosphere. Nature maintains a balance between the production and the degradation of ozone in the stratosphere. But this balance has been disrupted due to the enhancement of ozone degradation by chlorofluorocarbons or CFC. CFCs discharged in the lower part of the atmosphere move upward and reach the stratosphere. In the stratosphere, UV rays act as chlorofluorocarbons or CFCs and release chlorine atoms. These chlorine atoms degrade the ozone layer but chlorine atoms are not consumed in the reaction. Ozone depletion is particularly marked over the Antarctic region which has resulted in the formation of a large area of a thinned ozone layer commonly known as the ozone hole. The ozone hole was discovered in the year 1984 by Jonathan Franklin, Joseph Farman and Brian Gardiner. Let's move on to the effects of the ozone layer depletion. UV radiations having the shorter wavelength than UVB are completely absorbed by Earth's atmosphere. While UVB damages DNA which may result in mutation, it also causes aging of the skin and skin cancers. In the human eye, cornea absorbs UVB radiation and a high dose of UVB causes inflammation of the cornea called snow blindness, cataract, etc. Such exposure may permanently damage the cornea. Recognizing the deleterious effects of ozone layer depletion, an international treaty known as the Montreal Protocol was signed at Montreal, Canada in 1987 which became effective from 1989 to control the emission of ozone depletion substances. Subsequently, many more efforts have been made and various protocols have laid down definite roadmaps separately for developed and developing countries for reducing the emission of chlorofluorocarbons or CFCs and other ozone depleting chemicals. This concludes our video on the ozone layer depletion and its effects. Let's answer a few questions based on this topic. Question. When was the ozone hole discovered? 1974, 1964, 1994, 1984. This question was asked in AFMC 2013. Solution. The ozone layer was discovered in the year 1984 by Jonathan Franklin, Joseph Farman and Brian Gardiner. Hence, option 4 is correct. Question. Montreal Protocol was signed in 1986, 1987, 1988, 1989. This question was asked in Ames 2015. Solution. Montreal Protocol was signed at Montreal, Canada in 1987 and effective in 1989 to control the emission of ozone depleting substances. Hence, option 2 is correct. Please like, share and comment on the video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting and educational videos to earn while you learn. Download Extra Class app from Google Play Store and get rewarded for studying.